It was on June 30th that Kevin Durant made his trade request to Nets owner Joe Tsai. Still no movement, but KD reportedly met with Tsai over the weekend and reiterated his request to be traded, telling Tsai that he does not believe in the direction of the team. Durant also told the Nets owner that he needs to decide between keeping Durant or keeping GM Sean Marks and head coach Steve Nash. That's rich. Listen, Nash is not a particularly good head coach. Marks has shown himself to be one of the more creative GMs in the NBA and finding talent with at times limited resources. Plus, this mess in Brooklyn is all of Durant's doing. Now the question is, what does Joe side do? The Nets have won nothing with the duo of Durant and Irving, but the NBA is a star-driven league, and we have seen franchises, players, franchise players get their way when all is said and done. Durant is an all-time great player. Player empowerment is a thing in the NBA, whether you like it or not. The Nets are not going to get closer to winning an NBA title if they trade Durant. Better chance in keeping him and running it back. But the rub is this. Durant has no leverage. The belief around the league is that he will play in Brooklyn if the Nets do not trade him and his four-year contract here moving forward. Listen, I don't think Nash is a particularly good head coach. He would not be a big loss, but Marks is a good GM. What does Joe Side do? I think he calls KD's bluff. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.